This video is sponsored by Brilliant, sustainable clothing brand Organic Basics. Go take a look at their simple and gorgeous organic teeth, underwear and activewear. Okay guys, here we are, summer again. So let's do another anti-haul. I don't know how you're feeling, but personally, since I've just moved back into the flat after renovating and our brand new wardrobe is already feeling quite like perfectly filled, I'm not looking to do any shopping this summer. I think I'm going to start operating from, you know, a one in one out policy. Have you ever tried that? Either way, no matter if you're looking to invest in a few summer wardrobe staples or if you're staying well away from the fitting room, let's be smart and buy it consciously and only the things that we really think that we'll love for years to come, am I right? So these are six of the hot summer trends that I won't be buying into this summer because they're either short-lived trends or they're wrong for me personally or because I've already got a good option at home. Okay, so let's see what you think. To be honest, I absolutely love the look of this. I've always had a thing for tie-dye. It's like the smooth color grades, like blending into each other without much contrast. It's just an inoffensive way to do patterns, I feel like, you know what I mean? I especially love the beige to orange to terracotta type of color scheme. I find it gorgeous, but I'm not investing. It's too specific and you wear that dress like twice and that's it you'll probably start to like get over the infatuation already. So this has to be a short-lived trend, don't you think? And solid colors will always win the longevity game compared to patterns. So if investing in a pattern, I tend to only go for like the classics, checks and maybe a stripe once in a while. I do have a couple of cat print shirts. So tie-dye, florals, polka dots, forget about it, man. I'm not wasting my money on such like full-on visuals. Everywhere on the runways and on Insta this season, I feel like the metallics are going from like fringe way into mainstream. So super shiny reflective wear or shiny chain rails or like those netted Y2K tops. It's like metals are having a real moment and not just like the classic silver either, but gold and you know, like the colorful ones too. And just with like all of these like quite visually striking and specific material trends, this won't last. Maybe if investing in like a silver, more like muted alternative, then yes, I can see how that can be versatile enough to keep wearing after the trend has faded. But the shinier, the quicker it will fade and like start to feel dated. So yes, this is too much of a short-lived trend, I reckon. Also, I realized that with my skin tone, I really feel more beautiful in gold rather than silver, which is weird because my whole life up until a few years ago, I would always choose silver jewelry. I think it started when I was a kid and all my friends loved gold so much that I would go with silver to be different. God, such a little attention seeker already back then, weren't I? Anyway, shiny jewelry, yes please. Shiny garments, mm, maybe not so much. Another trend that's matching with the metallics, but more like niche and edgy, is the, mm, what can we call it? Soldier wear? Armor core? You know what I mean? Those like outfits inspired by like Roman soldiers and fighter game characters, like antiquity style. So think chainmail, breastplates, those metal wrist covers, anything that makes you look like an aggressive person in like Jesus times. This is totally wrong for me personally. And let me try to explain why, because it's a weird one. So like if we look at another type of soldier core, like the camouflage wear or like fighter pilot inspired outfits or like anything military really it gives me the creeps i'm just gonna come out and say it i'm a lover not a fighter i'm a sweetheart girl they just want peace and love so anything that romanticizes war and weapons and like the military as if fighting is something cool to be made into fashion statements like what the hell seriously i'm out and like it's the same with romantic war movies or military gaming or anything like that atrocious stuff if you ask me so i'm staying away and i will continue doing my lover girl thing over here thank you very much speaking of lover girls a couple of weeks to go you know what i'm talking about my debut novel okay days is out anytime now do your girl a favor and pre-order one, won't you? Um, or two maybe, if you want to give one to a friend, why not? It's a nice little hot girl summer gift, don't you think? I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it since you know, you've been here through like the whole process and like giving me so much confidence. I feel like everyone wanting to do something creative as you know, a career, 
they should have like a sweetheart YouTube community to share them on, seriously. It's just made my confidence like bulletproof over the years. You guys always having my back. So I really, really hope that you love this little rascal book of mine. I've actually used to like humor you guys, put in some in-jokes that David and I have had with you here on the channel or like over on the podcast over the years. So I definitely think that you will shuckle once in a while from like recognizing some cute things that we've been joking about before. Anyway, if you have pre-ordered already, thanks a million. If you haven't pre-ordered yet, I love you anyway. So one trend that is wrong for me, but for a completely different reason, is the knee length skirt. They are everywhere now, aren't they? And wow, they're so nice but they're not for me. I'm leaving the knee length to other girlies out there because here's the thing, whenever I put on a skirt this length, I feel just like sort of meh, because it's like either or. I have like a concept that I talk to David about all the time that I call the weak cordial phenomenon. You know when you mix cordial and you add too much water so it becomes sort of weak and it's like, it's neither water nor cordial, but like a disappointing in-between. Like water is great and a decently strong elderflower cordial, it's great, isn't it? So with this analogy, I feel like a micro mini skirt where I show off my legs and feel all sexy, that's great. And like a huge bulky maxi skirt with all the edgy oversized volume, amazing. Knee length though, neither sexy nor edgy. So kind of boring, that's how I feel in this length. On others, I think it looks fantastic. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't on me, but I'm old enough now to like have learned that if a fit doesn't make me feel more sexy or more edgy, I'm not gonna wear it. So I'm staying away. Does anyone else feel this way about knee length? Is it just me? Or do you also feel like it's, you know, weak cordial? Obviously, the kind of fun, sleazy aspects of Y2K have been around the runway the last few seasons, but luckily for us Scandi simplicists, another version of Y2K fashion is popping up here and there, and it's a sort of elevated basics. So like minimal naughty style with like very clean lines and luxurious materials and finishes. Super simple, super classic, which is great. But you know what that means? That I kind of already have good versions of these items at home. The brilliant thing about the minimalist trends is that you buy an oversized black blazer once and you know, you'll never have to buy one again because it just stays on trend. It's like a way of cheating the system, buying into the trends that are so classic, it's almost incorrect to call them trends. You know what I mean? Speaking for, you know, every pseudo intellectual lit girl here, big bags are needed. We need at least one notebook or like three paper bags and one pen, one pencil, a bit of makeup, a scarf, a pair of gloves, some like old tickets and someone's lock of hair for, you know, nostalgia factor. And who knows, maybe we'll find like the perfect pottery teacup that we've been looking for. You know where I'm going with this? Big bags are life. But now and again, the runway is trying to like convince us that we don't actually need a big bag. We need a huge bag. And to that I say, no, we do not. A big one is enough. A huge one is just impractical. I have a number of big bags that are like simply perfect. And guess what? Although that they are stunning and extremely luxe, they are all vegan. Plant leathers, that's what's up. Technology has come like a long way and so has apparently human compassion. So I will not be buying any bag, big bag or otherwise, if it's made of someone else's skin. It's a no brainer, come on for sure. So what are your thoughts? Which of these trends is your favorite? Or are you also kind of happy to stay away from all of them? Tell me all your thoughts on these ones. And if you have any wardrobe investments that you want to make this summer, one investment that is both trendy and timeless is of course my spiky little novel, OK Days. I will put links with worldwide shipping in the description because guys, it is crunch time. It is almost out. Hurry, get your copy. It would help me out a lot because early orders will have such a snowball effect in sales. And also, more importantly, I want you guys to read it pronto because after, you know, almost three years since I first put pen to paper, I'm so dying to hear what you think. And of course, do give me a thumb if you like these anti haul videos and want me to continue making them. And feel free to subscribe to not miss my next video if you haven't yet. That's it. Hope you're feeling summery and fresh and excited to dress in those lovely hot weather fits this summer, I sure am. A big thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. You know how much I love their sustainable designs and today I'd like to show you their organic cotton pointel collection. 
As you might know by now, Organic Basics is a carbon neutral Copenhagen based brand that makes underwear, activewear and everyday essentials. And what is more important to a wardrobe than basic essentials to mix and match with? All their clothing is designed in Denmark and made fairly in Portugal with organic, recycled and eco-friendly materials. So let's have a look at the new items that I got this time. So I got this beautiful black set from the Pointel collection, which is all made out of organic cotton and that I very much look forward to lounging around in at home. Imagine like a lazy Sunday summer morning with some iced coffee and nothing planned for the whole day but just reading and napping. The set is made up of a comfortable singlet that I will use just as a normal vest too, so not just for lounging. Then there's the cropped pants, also in black, and finally we have the wrap top, which is my favorite. And this is like adjustable, so I can decide how tight or loose I want it, depending on, you know, how much of a big brunch I want to eat. So these are just the perfect loungewear pieces. I feel like even the laziest days at home, I still want to not just be like super comfortable, of course, but also I want to look nice so that I get that like luxe feeling, you know? And this set is inspired by classic ballet pieces. So what is more elegant than that? I got the whole set in black, but all the pieces also come in ecro and mint green. So guys, if you want to get your hands on your very own Organic Basics, just click the link below in the description and use my promo code OBJENNY for 10% off site-wide. It also works on already discounted products. And you can have a look at their full point out collection to get something that you really like. I really recommend the wrap top. It's my favorite. I think I'm going to be wearing it more or less every week. So thank you so much to Organic Basics and thank you guys so much for watching today. Love ya. Peace, peace, and hey, doll.